Hello, everybody. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and I urge you to follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Right down there is my handle. And today I'm going to do some requests from you, the audience. Uh, earlier today, if you watched, I did some film and TV related stuff. The views are okay. Uh, they just started and they need to get better. So if you like this sort of stuff, I went full film nerd. I uh, talked about Stranger Things and the new 1917 and my favorite cinematographer, Roger Deakins. Please go check those out. And as always, if you aren't already, hit the subscribe and the notification bell. Uh, that's how you get notified of this channel. Uh, sometimes uh, the algorithm just does not want to promote channels like mine. So please, we would be, I'd be grateful for your support. Uh, but getting to the subject at hand, uh, this one came in from Nutter Butter AF, who asked, you going to talk about Luke Skywalker? Walker being a womp womp to a three-year-old. Uh, and yeah, I didn't really want to, but you asked for it. And this actually just didn't sit well with me. And sometimes I am going to get a little bit and not, we're not going to get into the politics, but going to get into the BS of both liberal and conservative. And here is a known liberal, someone I think a lot of us do love, Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill, great voice actor. Uh, and uh, I like him as Luke. Uh, but this was just weird. Uh, this has nothing to do with politics here. This is Ivanka Trump saying the force is strong with my family. Your kids are playing with Legos. Looks like some sort of star Wars Lego set. And one of the kids is rocking it out like a stormtrooper. Now as a dad, I think this is pretty adorable. Uh, and they're proud of their kids. And they did this tweet sort of just for their own fans and said, the force is strong in my family. Didn't tag Mark Hamill. Didn't tag star Wars. Just said, you know, they're star Wars fans and they're allowed to be. Uh, and then Mark Hamill decided to go, you misspelled fraud. Go force yourself. Uh, and this just, you know, got a lot of people really mad. Uh, Mommy, why does Luke Skywalker hate us? Because we are terrible people, son. Tacking your Star Wars fan is a D move. Uh, you sure you, you sure own those kids, Mark? Good one. Uh, I mean, it just, it just shows, it's like, come on, how out of touch are you, Hollywood? Like, if you don't like Trump, whatever, that's your decision. But this had nothing to do with politics. This photo has nothing to do with politics. It has two people in it that are in politics and that some people don't like. Uh, I'm not even going to get into that. It's not. This has nothing to the point of this channel, what this is. But there's a child there in a Star Wars costume. Thank God they're all disguised with masks and not looking at the camera. Uh, I wonder if that was instructed before the photo was taken. Kids, stop playing Legos and look away uh, while we're dressed up. But beyond that, it doesn't matter. Whatever I feel about them or you feel about them, it doesn't matter. These are kids enjoying star wars and for the hero of star wars to like knock these kids and tell them that their parents are frauds and go force yourself it's just gross it's just what are we doing we need to be better than that come on liberals what do you why even he realized he errored uh and then re someone said forget the parents this kid rocks and he finally said agreed uh but did not get nearly the attention he's sort of backpedaling because this was a crazy and this was liked by so many people is what makes it even more depressing I just, I don't get it as I try to be more centered. It's not about, you know, I don't know what opinion it is. This is a bad opinion. This is a bad look, Mark Hamill. Be better than that. Uh, this is not what we should be making fun of. If you want to comment on them as public figures when they post something else, great. But when they post pictures of their kids, just saying Star Wars, and not even addressing, tagging you, not talking about politics, they're just being uh, humans in the world with their kids, off, I, I just think leave them alone. There's no reason to set the mob off them and then make them get tweets all night as their kids are getting tormented. Now, at the same time, one could say, well, Andy, why are they putting their pictures online of their kids in the first place? And that's a fair argument. Uh, they are public figures. Uh, but I think in this instance, yes, of course, they're opening up the can of worms by putting it online. But I think so is Mark Hamill by looking like a douchebag, by putting his comment in saying, go force yourself to this little kid, which is what he's doing, whether he meant to or, or not. It's just there's a time and a place. Uh, so this didn't sit well with me. I don't like it. What do you guys think? I think, uh, you know, it's like that whole thing I did off of Deborah Messing. Just like, look, I'm not saying celebrities can't be political. I don't think it helps. I really don't think it helps. They sort of ignore the fact that sometimes they have conservative uh, audience members who just don't want them to talk politics. I know there's people watching right now like, Andy, what is this video? I don't even want you talking politics. Uh, but this channel is going to become that. It's a combination of where Hollywood and uh, politics and all that stuff sort of mixes. And I'm not going to get into the politics of it, but I'm going to get into the society canceling, you know, mob mentality of sort of extremism on one side, inter you know, ejecting with our Hollywood movies and TV, that's when this becomes relevant to this channel one I want to call out BS because I think this was a stupid move. I don't think he should, do, he should have done it. Uh, and I think we should all be better at it when there's a post of someone you don't like with their kids. Be the better person. Are you allowed to say whatever you want? 
Yes, you are. Does that mean you're being a good person? No, it doesn't. Uh, that's the line. It's like, yes, freedom of speech is there. You can say whatever you want about Ivanka's children. You can be a complete monster and say the worst things in the world. Does that make you a good person, though? I don't believe it does. I think there's a line we should just respect. Uh, now, if she's there exploiting her kids for political gain, uh, I don't think she's doing that in this shot at all. And I think this was off base. That's my thoughts. So there you go, Nutter Butter. That's my take. Uh, I do agree with you. I don't think it was uh, Mark Hamill's, you know, best day. Uh, but what do you guys think down in the comments? What about De Niro dropping the F-bomb on CNN? I don't want to play it here because hopefully this video doesn't get demonetized. Oh, demonetization? What a good subject. Stay tuned. We'll be talking about that next. Uh, and I'll be live Thursday night. We're going to move our schedule live on Thursdays. Uh, so stay tuned this week. We're going to experiment with a new format, a new concept. Thursday, I'm excited to talk about it. If you like this video, I think you're going to like Thursday. So please come back. Like I said, hit that subscription button and it's bell. Comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Even if you don't agree with me, just be civil and engage down below. Uh, I love dialogue. I'd love to hear the other side of this if you think I'm crazy. Uh, let's hear it out. Uh, thanks as much, for, as always, for uh, watching. And I'll be back with another video about YouTube monetization very soon. Bye, everybody.